Today on Riff Spirits and Gear, we unbox a beginner guitar and then make it play awesome. Donner guitars have been around since 2012 and their aim is to provide a higher quality guitar for the beginner range. And this is what I have here in front of me. This is a Donner beginner guitar kit that you can buy off Amazon for, I believe it's right around $169 and sometimes there's a coupon to get a couple of bucks off that. But the, their aim is to have a really good bang for the buck ratio. Before we go any further, this is a sponsored video and Donner have asked me to show you guys this starter kit and I thought we would unbox it, we would check it out, we would evaluate, and then we would go ahead and set it up and you guys can come along for the process. So right now we are gonna go ahead and unbox the Donner guitar kit. I'm not sure which one exactly, if it's a single cut or double cut, what have you. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna check it out, and then we are going to evaluate the guitar and then we're gonna set it up, probably change some strings, uh, check the nut, check the relief, and we're gonna do that together. Okay, so first we have a mini guitar amp, which is super cool. Um, I actually wasn't aware that this came with a guitar amp. And it actually looks like uh, one of those 80s, um, one of those 80s, that overdrive brand or that pedal brand. I actually don't hate that aesthetic at all. Uh, pretty cool. Of course, there is a strap. We are not gonna be needing the strap for this video. And in the goodie bag, we have a tremolo bar, we have a cable, and we have a clip-on headstock tuner. Tuning's important. All right. This is what we are dealing with. This is a strat style body, obviously. Humbucker in the bridge, like that. Uh, this is your standard 25 and a half inch scale guitar. A uh, little bit of weight to it, which is good. Um, neck feels like a thin C shape. And yeah, let, let's make this thing awesome. So the first thing I'm gonna do right off the bat is I'm gonna check the straightness of the neck. And I can do that two ways. I can sight it. I can do this and look down the neck, or I can fret the low E string where the neck meets the body and the first fret to get an idea of how straight this neck is. It actually appears to be pretty straight, actually. Next, I'm just gonna tune it up and then I'm gonna play it. And where did I put that tuner? Okay, so the guitar is tuned up and before I decide what to do with it, I'm just gonna play it and see what I think. Okay, so here's what I would do to it, and it's fairly minimal. I would change the strings, which is something I generally do with any guitar at any price level, uh, right when I get it. So I know they're fresh, and I want them fresh, and I want my brand on there, in this case, Ernie Balls. I would throw some strings on it and give it just a basic setup. Uh, the next straight, the fret ends feel good, and the action is a little high. That's to be expected. Um, I'm gonna lower the saddles a little bit. I'm also gonna lower the bridge pickup to kind of equalize the single coils as well. Um, pretty basic stuff. So I'm gonna grab some tools and then I'm gonna come back and let's set, set this thing up. So 
So something that I like to do, uh, especially with entry level guitars like this one, when the, all the strings are all off and the tension is off everything, is I like to check the uh, tuning nuts that are on the tuning pegs. I like to check all of the screws, uh, the neck plate screws for tightness, things like that, just to, just to be sure that everything is as it should be. So I'm going to do that with my Music Nomad toolkit that I have real quick before I put the strings back on. Now, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just arbitrarily lower the pickup since I know I'm gonna be lowering the action as well, and then we'll adjust the pickups after we get the strings back on. All right, so time for some strings. In this case, a set of Ernie Ball regular slinkies. So right away, even just with new strings, not doing anything else, you can see how the guitar just kind of comes to life. Okay, so we need to set the action of this guitar. I know the neck is still straight. Uh, the action at the nut is actually fine. Again, that's a real testament to the factory setup, but I'm gonna go ahead and play with the action a little bit. Now I'm gonna do this by feel. Um, I'm a feel guy, I know what I like, I know how it feels, I've been doing this a long time. Um, I'm gonna be mindful of the radius of the neck, but the first place I'm gonna start is I'm gonna lower the high E string. And actually I'm gonna do this in the playing position. I'm also gonna lower the low E a little bit. I'm gonna retune and then see where we're at. I need to lower the, uh, the B and E string just a little bit more. All right, let's see how that plays. Actually going to lower the bridge pickup just a little bit. That's better. And I'm going to lower the, the B and E strings a little bit more. Should be pretty good to go. Okay, that's cool. So the last thing we need to do now that we've set the action is we need to uh, intonate each string, which is very easy with the individual saddle setup as opposed to like a Gibson Tunematic style. Okay, so what have we learned? Uh, the Donner starter guitar kit is actually pretty decent. I will say this is much better than the uh, cheapest guitar on Amazon or cheapest guitar on eBay because the fret job on this guitar is worlds better than those guitars. Those guitars both have very, very sharp fret ends. 
This does not have that. Also, it's just out of the box set up pretty well. Um, you know, to be expected for a $169 guitar, uh, it needs new strings out of the box because who knows how old they are. It's just a good idea anyway to change strings on a newly acquired guitar. Um, a simple setup, we adjusted the action and then we intonated each string. We're good to go. Um, also, I want to note that the tuners on this Donner guitar are much better than the cheaper, uh, the cheaper guitars that I have come across, both eBay, Wish, and Amazon. These are a sealed design and they feel a little better than, than most of the tuners that you see on the beginner starter pack guitars, including the Fender Affinity stuff. So take that how you will, but yeah, big shout out to Donner for sponsoring this video. And that is how you set up and get your beginner guitar to play awesome. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.